Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upol, and in front of me is a 1979 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I did open up the hood already because it is rather heavy to open with one hand, so I opened that up already. Almost like a meringue yellow color, and well, I'll take you a look around it. Pretty nice color actually. And you do have a partial vinyl roof on this one. Mileage on this says 39,000 and 23 miles, but I'm guessing that's more like 139 probably. Cruise control, wipers, intermittent, and hey, you have a whole bunch of things. Your e brake is right there with your high beam switch, was down there, I think. It's a very rough steering wheel. Wire wheel covers, those are nice condition, it looks like. And interesting pattern on the seats, it's not really normal, but it's actually pretty nice. Purplish tint, old tint, that's for sure. These pieces are always missing when I see them in junkyards. <coughs> They're always busted like this one is. Open up the trunk. Ooh! The trunk doesn't really hold itself up, but there's even more wire wheel covers. Or hubcaps, rather. Nice. Huge trunk though. The trunk actually looks somewhat solid. You can see the original color in there. It was a bright yellow, it looks like. But that might have been primer, maybe. Your jack was in the trunk before, but I guess it's probably not here anymore. And this one had a slow closed trunk, I think. Flip open cover, revealing your key slot. And we'll take a look under the hood. Now, I'm not exactly sure what engine this is, but I think the marking says it's a 350. Or a 5.7 liter. I don't know guys. It's a little bigger than a 5.7 in my eyes, but I could be wrong. I don't really know Chevy that well, or Cadillacs especially. One of the things I never really looked into much. This is not original paint. Those things being painted, it's not. Had factory AC, of course, and a huge, huge air conditioning box there. So, it does appear like it was oil sprayed though, and it kind of did preserve it, but it kind of got let go in its later years, and when it got to this point, it was just too far gone. Chrome strips across the hood are still there, and across the whole body line. Nice. Big dent in that rear quarter. It's actually fairly clean inside. Is there any registration papers or anything in here? There's not even a glove box in there anymore. Huh, but the trunk button's there. Wow, those sometimes actually have some weight behind them too. Cruise control switch, I'm guessing, for this car. Okay, this will kind of tell us something. June 1st, 2000. That's when this is from. Tim Hortons raises $2,230.15 for camp day. I wonder if I can manage to open this without destroying it. Yeah, 
No, it's gonna get destroyed if I open it. That's a neat find though. Looks like this vehicle has not been on the road since about 2000. But anyways, yeah, that's been sitting about 17 years now. Actually, almost 17 years exactly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and share this video. As well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.